This is the seated pancake stretch. You're gonna sit with your legs out at about a 45 degrees angle, toes up towards the ceiling, and you're going to bend forward at the waist, bring your belly button towards your thighs, and try to grab your feet. Now, if you can't do this on the ground, you need some type of assist. If we put you up on a bench, gravity can help you and pull you down further simply by giving us a little bit of leverage by putting us on an incline. Now, you need to choose an incline where you can bend over and touch your toes or at least be able to create a shelf to place a weight on top of. Now, if you can't do this from like a 12, 16 inch bench, then you probably need someone to give you a little bit of extra assist, being very, very gentle and kind of giving you a gentle nudge forward. But we need to choose a point in time where we can use our back as a shelf, rest for at least 15 seconds, upwards of 30 seconds to even a minute, with that plate resting on top of the shoulders being extra passive aid to add in our flexibility. Now, if you're doing multiple sets, which I'd encourage you to do, which is what we do oftentimes, I like to alternate with an active form of the same exercise. So getting a band, reaching long through the spine, reaching long through the arms, and bowing forward as far as we can actively while we're reaching into the band. This is a little bit more active than having a passive plate help us go down further to the ground. Now, if you can get to the ground, we want to work our way all the way down towards the ground and get closer and closer of our chest down to our thighs. Now, being on the ground is great, but to keep improving your mobility, you're going to have to use some type of a passive assist to take you just a little bit further. So if you can't rest your plate on the upper back, then again, somebody needs to give you a little bit of an assist and give you a gentle nudge forward, or you're down too low and you need to be sitting up on a bench. Now the bench doesn't have to be the one we showed in the video. The bench could be as low to the ground as say four inches. The biggest thing is that you're down low enough that you can create a shelf to rest the weight on so you can get that passive stretch that aids you in reaching just a little bit further. Um, and then again, if you can do it on flat ground, then we'd alternate that with an active version. Myself in particularly, uh, when I started this whole process, I couldn't even touch my toes um, with my hands. So we're making progress, but I should not be on the ground just yet. I need to still be on a platform to elevate myself up to let that incline and the plate allow gravity to assist me down further and again perform back and forth between an active and a passive exercise and again alternate back and forth between the passive plate pushing you and nudging you just a little bit further and then you actively trying to reproduce that motion yourself when you're reaching into the band just a little bit of an extra tip, this is often paired well with the reverse squats or some type of knee tucking abdominal based exercise to work on compression, abdominal contraction in the short range position um, as another exercise to help facilitate you bending forward more comfortably.